So Galmon sent me one of the tablets, the Galmon S56K, and I'm gonna do an unboxing and review of this tablet. Uh, I also own the Wacom CTH480, and so my friend, one of my friends, has also had the old OC tablet, the old Huion H, the old Huion 420 tablet. So I've used it before, so I can do like a comparison between all three of these tablets. The official Galmon seal. Specifications of this tablet at the back. The area looks pretty big based on the images I've seen. So try to shit out. Yeah, the area is pretty big. Compared to the Wacom, the area is actually bigger than the Wacom CDH 480. Like, can you, if you can tell. It's like, that's the height of the CDH 480, that's the height of the Galmon. And the width is actually a bit bigger for the Galmon as well, so it has a bigger area than the CDH 480. As everybody knows already, this tablet is actually flexible. Like, if you like, <laughs> get, get some resistance when you go too far, so I don't want to keep going in case something happens, you know. So that's the tablet. Very large active area. Solid part of the top. You want this part to be flexible. If we have the pen. Uh, I've seen it in other videos and pictures before. The pen looks really similar to the OC tablet pen. Yeah, this pen really reminds me of the OC tablet pen. It feels the same as the OC tablet pen. Or the Huion 420 pen. But I think the nibs are a bit different, if I remember correctly. I think they're a bit different. Yeah, they are different. I remember the old ones were the ones on the Huion 420 were a pain to take out. Like this one just comes out nice and easily. So this pen compared to this Wacom is much much lighter. Probably because this has a battery inside it that they need to replace every now and then. Same with the Huion 421. Well, the old OC tablet one. Yeah, it's a lot heavier. This is like so much lighter. Like I can't like quantitatively describe it. I can only quantitatively describe it. This is like five times lighter, three times lighter. I don't know. Okay, something is something around that. Um, yeah, this also needs a switch to be turned on. So yeah, you need to switch it on and switch it off, and you need to replace the battery when it runs out. Next, we have the cable. Pretty similar to the Wacom one, except it has a different port. It's this one's not the Android one. The Wacom one has Android port here. Uh, this one is a different one, so you can't use it to charge the Android phone. Um, and here's a ring of some sort. Don't really know what it's used for right now. And there are four spare pendants in here as well, so if this ever gets damaged in any way, you can replace it, I guess. And you have the flexible tablet quick start guide. I told you how to set it up and stuff. And you have the software drivers for it. Okay. So, yeah, it kind of is slippery compared to the Wacom. I'm pushing down with like some force and trying to move it. It's not moving at all. Pretty solid rubber grips at the back. Down one, pushing down with around the same force and moving it around. It has a little bit of resistance, but not really, so it's moving around a lot. Expecting this to grip more, but meh. Okay, so, hmm. Dragging feels not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. The Wacom. The Wacom feels better, but this is like more slippery on the Gammon. It's more slippery. But I feel like it's still pretty good. Better than expected. I thought it was going to be like really like friction, friction y. If that's what I mean. Like I thought it was going to be. Really hard to move the pen tablet around, but it looks like the surface is really nice and smooth plastic here. And the back is sort of a tiny bit rubbery, it's not really that grippy at all. Okay, I guess that's it for the unboxing. I'll see you on the review once I install the drivers and. Yeah, install the drivers and plug it into my computer.